morning art needs you you need art i believe that in this world everything is with everything is born with a reason even a pin or you take a your own eyewear everything is with the taste it is been built or designed um it is not in the stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves this is a statement by of course taken it from william shakespeare's note it's like in indian philosophy aham brahmasmi you need to understand your potential your values you have to find your own talent your own taste everything i think finding yourself is one of the most important thing to begin your thoughts and career i was born in a small village in mangatugara around 7 km from cochin airport i was born in a very small i mean like a family of carpenters my father was a carpenter did my studies in kerala my pre universities were studied i was in sri shankarajarya college in kaladi during the time of when i was in 17 years old i fell ill for a long time that is why i was saying that i do believe in certain kind of destiny the destiny is taken me to different places i wanted to be a doctor that is one of the reason i took science as my uh, educational subject but at age of 17 to 22 i was in hospital in and out that's the time i started making art doing theater learning absurd theater practicing as a kind of amateur artist also learned music and dance and things like that again in 1985 i received an award from the academy called kala academy i got to know about an institution called uh, kerala kalapidam in kochi i visited there joined there for one year during that period i received that academy award in 85 one of my friends sent me a message and also he called me up and said there is an institute in bombay called sir jj school of art and then i went to mumbai took a jandi janata train reached mumbai from a small village to mumbai life is i think there is a kind of lot of distance there is kind of extremities in ways of living and ways of learning and ways of sustaining and so I studied in Sir J J School of Art. Joined in '86. I topped. I was the gold medalist in '91. Kumso received the highest honor. Get an opportunity to teach. So I taught one year in '92. Also the same time I started my masters in gold, uh, J J School of Art. By the end of the year. i was chucked out the you know on an april fool day out of i was rusticated from the college because one of the article i like, critiqued the institution what was lacking in the institution i published in the one of the newspapers so that's one of the reason i was chucked out of college i think it's it's important you know i would like to go back in 89 my first show while i was a student in jj school of art i did my first show in kerala at kerala kalapidam inaugurated by adur gopalakrishnan and i had a board of 30 works small scale abstract as well as realistic portraits and stuff like that i was not really aware of the isms or theories or something like that but that was my first show 
None of the work was sold. Maybe it was priced maybe thousands to three thousand bucks. I realized that it's very important when you are. Also, my second show was in JJ School of Arts. While I was studying, it was professionally done. In the second day of the show, almost every all of my work was sold, and lots lots of articles, critics, also written about the project. I think it is important as you student, your inquisitiveness, your interest, your passion is very important, and your commitment takes you to places. The travel. Why I, I was showing the previous? This is a studio. It's a small. Uh, actually, it's one of the largest studios I have visited when I received an award from the British Council to travel in '93. This is Anish Kapoor's studio. Little part of it, you know, when I looked at his studio, it's almost like a kind of, there are cranes, books, shop, almost like a library, you know, quite a lot of books and libraries and things like that. So this, as an artist, I do believe it is important to travel. As a human being, it is important to travel, to learn from life itself. Um, from the travel, I learned much more than sitting in a college or sitting in uh, the study room and things like that. I believe extremities coexist in life, also in my art practices. I'll give you an example of architecture. If I take an architecture like, you could see maximum form and color, texture, everything as a kind of basic element in. Uh, Madhra Meenakshi Temple. On the right hand side, you see a minimalistic building designed by Zana, a Japanese architect's firm. It's in New York, this second part of it. So I think this juxtaposition, also, I believe in this extremity coexist in my life from the beginning to the, you know, till now. I'm now I'm 56, 56 of my life. I'm sharing with you in 15 minutes, so I'm doing a lot of editing in my learning. This is one of my abstract work. It's also abstract work. JJ School of Art is also known for abstract practices. As an artist, you, there are many theories in art making, surrealism, expressionism, uh, minimalism, things like that used. Uh, poetry and work, one of my important show called A Museum, which was um, done by in 1992 in Jahangir Art Gallery, one of the most successful shows in that period of time. Also, I, as an artist, I was invited to uh, pro do a project inspired from furniture or design. It doesn't have to be functional, but I was part of this, one of the most important selected artist curated exhibition in 1994 with Agbupadam Ji, Lakshman Sreshta and other artists. This is in some important collections in India, in different personalities, the RPGs and other people. I believe this objects of attention, this project, as an icon, one of the most important icon I found in Mumbai is the Dabbawalas or Dabba, the Tiffin Carrier. A Tiffin Carrier, I used the Dabbawalas in one, many of my projects. This is one of the projects I have shown in 95. These are the exhibitions taken it from. I believe that the minimalism as well as the extremism or maximalism coexist. It's almost like a sanctum, sanctorum kind of projects, which was in Delhi. Detail of it. Also done a show called Dandy. So earlier, as I mentioned, travel is fatal to prejudice. Bigotry and narrow-mindedness. Mark Twain said that. I believe it is. It is exactly what I believe in my life. I think openness. You know, you should not be really stubborn with your own ideas, and you should be open to ideas and you know uh, practices. This is another studio visited. I when I travel, I visit galleries, museum have conversations with a lot of artists. This is one of the greatest artists called Francesco Clemente Studio. Francesco, whenever I visited his New York studio, every time you could see many, many 
other kind of different kinds of work. He was also part of the Kochi Muslims Binali. I'll discuss it with you later. This is one of my, I received that award called Mid-America Arts Alliance Award in New York, uh, Washington. And then I, the, the award is like you can travel and attend a residency in Sausalito in San Francisco. So I traveled to Washington, Chicago, Atlanta, New York, and Santa Fe, LA. And finally, the, you know, the West Wing story is in Headline Center for Visual Art. It's a residency program for artists. So I stayed there for 45 days. I met a lot of incredible architects like Frank, uh, Frank O'Gary, uh, Frank Stella, great artist, and other people. This is one of my projects with the 26 poets, 15, 13 poets from Bombay, 13 poets from Kerala. There's a realistic kind of portrait. It's a kind of archive of theirs, uh, their life, and put it together as a kind of, it was a huge show. It's, I'm showing a little bit part of it, persistence of memory. And this is also called another project, a large project called Field Sachi. It was, the images are taken in from um, memory of books. Yeah. And uh, it's actually using images of war. It's a war is almost like kind of, I use this as almost like a kind of perf performative, uh, celebratory kind of thing, as almost like a capitalist people, how they look at war. This is why during my studies in Goldsmiths College, this is a photography session. It's also a conceptual work and produced many works. This is one of the installation, part of it. The photography is also printed in the college. It's, uh, and I do believe styles are temporary uh, or trends are temporary. Uh, everything is transforming into something else when you think, when you work. I think keep on working takes you to places. So styles turns to be very momentary. This is Venetian blinds. I also done it in a museum show. So I have reproduced. So the Venetian blinds can be turned around. The, both the sides you could see almost like it's 360 degree of painting. And also realism, when you look at this, this is new or realistic. European drink. It's a celebration after one of my show. I've taken a picture. One, there are two, three artists, friends of mine. They are very important artists like uh, Adul Dodia, uh, Sudarshan Shetty, and also the images he's taken is from um, Satyatre's film. So it's actually oil on canvas. I curated a project. It's one of my second projects. 69 Malayali artist project I have curated. Uh, my first project was in 2004 as a curator, which was shown in uh, Kashi Art Gallery. Then 69 artists who got some kind of blood relationship with Coach, uh, Kerala, uh, from Paris to uh, New York, from Amsterdam, many artists participated. It was a traveling show. This was a poster made for the artists, you know, this kind of container, poster designed for that project, which was shown in Delhi, Mumbai, Kochi, Bangalore. This is one of my work called Stretched Body Series. It was shown in New York. I believe education, while you are studying, you know, when I was in JJ School of Arts, there was a kind of lack of information. You know, you never used to get a great art magazine like Art Forum or Freeze or um, there are great magazines published or books. So I felt that it is important to share your knowledge. So I, this is my personal collection. This laboratory of visual art is my personal collection of this project, which was shown in many places in India. It was a traveling project in Delhi, Bangalore, Kolkata, Baroda, and other places. There were about around 5,000 books of my personal collection from different parts of the world, and also there are around 1,800 DVDs on art, design, fashion, photography, architecture, etc. So you could see it, experience it. I believe that makes lots of this. One of my projects, which has traveled in Milan, Mumbai, Lille in France, New York, Boston, Pune, Venice, and other places. Another project in, shown in Amsterdam, Baroda, sorry, not in Baroda, 
in um, Dubai and the other places. It's all huge case uh, architectural project inspirations are something. I cannot really go on talking about it. This is all Bombay Walla, Mumbai, Mumbai curls, so portraits on canvas. It's also inspired from day-to-day -day life. This is my stretched body series. I do my, many of these kind of works. Um, I believe this is a very minimalistic work for me, blindness, or you know, you take a braille. This is written as in braille language, it's called love. And this is also text. It's also end of, <coughs> origin is the end, end is the origin. The text is taken from Tagore's, one of his play, and made, this is another project, it's called uh, Death of Memory is End of Oneself. This is also from my experience when I was in coma, in, when I was 18 to 19 years old, I realized death of your memory is end of your own life, your own self. So I created this as a graphite work. Um, I believe this is very important in life. The act of drinking beer with friends is the highest form of art. Statement by an artist, Tom Marioni. I met him in San Francisco during my uh, residency period. And why I'm showing this, it's very important for you to understand. I think for me, I realized that conversations makes lots of difference in your life. From these conversations, we invented or we found the first Benali in India. The, my first you know, conversation started in 2010 when uh, then uh, cultural minister of Kerala, Mr. Yame Baby, visited Mumbai. He said, can I come and see you? Then I said, of course, you know, then I called some of my Malayali friends, great artists, lives and works in Mumbai. And then over the conversations, uh, he asked us a question, what's the best thing to uh, enrich Kerala's visual art scene? Then we developed the Biennial project. I can go on talking about it, hours and hours, and you must visit Kochi and changing perception on this, how many people visited more than six and a half lakhs people last year visited for the Benali. This year it will open in 12th of December. You are all welcome and um, we make brands. You know, it is very important that you have to believe in yourself. You have to entertain, you have to enrich local people. Local people should believe what they are proud of this project now. They, everyone say, from around the world, people say, it is my biennial. And I also curated a project in outside uh, India, in China. It's one of the largest museum in Yunshuan in China. I had 73 artists. Some of them are superstar artists like Anish Kapoor and things like that. Anyway, art liberates obsession. We are all obsessed with the religion. We are all obsessed with the uh, God, we are all obsessed with uh, politics. I think it is that obsession kills your distance. I think keep little distance from what you see. The vision needs to have, needs to understand. You need spaces. So understand space. Thank you so much for inviting me.